Hi, my name is JD. I'm an educator here at OMSI, and we're looking at biodiversity today. We are going to be building traps together to look at how we measure biodiversity, specifically looking at arthropods. Biodiversity, for those of you who don't know, is just a way that we measure the different kinds of species that live in an environment or live in an ecosystem. Scientists have shown us that it's really important for ecosystems to have a high biodiversity because it supports a healthy and stable ecosystem. So as young scientists, you can practice today measuring that biodiversity using what we call a pitfall trap. This is gonna look very specifically at what's called species richness. This is the number of species in an area. You can ask a grown up a good place to dig your pitfall trap, whether that's in your backyard or somewhere else, then we will go through together how we make that pitfall trap. Once you've asked an adult of an appropriate place to dig your pitfall trap, go ahead, find a nice shady area. Um, it's important to find a shady area. You'll get more arthropod activity that way. The tools you'll need to dig your pitfall trap will be any sort of spade or shovel, a plastic or hard container that has steep and smooth sides so nothing can escape. A lid, especially if you live in the Pacific Northwest where it likes to rain, we don't want to drown our critter friends. And then tools if you have them, magnifying glass is perfect for looking at insects, arachnids, and other arthropods. And then any sort of white piece of paper or white sheet so you can get a high contrast and really see those organisms up close when you trap them. All right, now I'm gonna start digging our pitfall trap. It's important that when you're digging the hole for your pitfall trap, that you make it deep enough so that the container you're using sits all the way inside it and that the rim of your container is just below the edge of that hole. Let me show you because what you're going to do is fill in around your pitfall trap and make it look like there's nothing really there. The idea is that as different arthropods like spiders or ants or beetles are crawling along the ground, they will keep crawling, fall into your trap and then be unable to climb out. Once you've put your container in your hole, the last thing we're gonna do is put a lid over the container. Again, this is to prevent rain from falling in and drowning the animals we want to study. So I'm just gonna use anything I can find. I've got some sticks here, rocks also work. Put them on the sides of the container and then take a lid of any kind, bigger than the opening of the container, put it over it and then weigh it down with a rock or something similar. There your pitfall trap has been completed and is ready to trap all sorts of cool arthropods. Now that you've completed your pitfall trap, you can relax and sit back for a while and let different kinds of insects and arachnids crawl and hopefully fall into your trap. It's good practice to let your trap sit for several hours. I'm setting mine up in the morning and I'm gonna check it again this afternoon and again this evening to see what I can find. Every time I check my pitfall trap, what I do is I take it out and I empty it onto that piece of paper or that white sheet. I empty out those insects and other things and then I will look at them, I'll draw them, and again, if you want to try to identify those to species, bonus points to you if you can identify them. Check some of the links for our cool resources like apps and websites to identify these cool critters. Thanks for exploring your backyard ecosystems with me. Um, please comment or send us any sort of cool creatures that you do find. Um, you can comment on this video or send them to any OMSI social media. I hope you have fun out there and remember to Treat your animals with respect and be safe. If you don't know what the animal is, um, if it has a stinger or, or big mandibles, maybe don't pick it up straight away, especially from the head. Have fun. Good luck. The tools you'll need for this are any sort of garden shovel or, um, shoot, I forgot. What's the name of this thing? Spade. Spade. <laughs> Trowel? Trowel. Say sho shovel. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. Sorry.